Hi everyone, Sean here. What I want to talk to you today about is the super and the extends keywords and how they're used and why they're used in the generics. So I'm going to use a sample program to explain it. Here I have an animal and a dog is an animal, a terrier is a dog, a cat is an animal and a manx is a cat. The first thing I want to talk about is the, that polymorphism issue that arises. Okay, so 1A polymorphic assignments. Generics came in in Java 5. Type erasure was required to support legacy code. Thus, generics offer compile time protection. What does that mean? Well, prior to Java 5, there was a lot of naturally millions of lines of code out in the world. And when they came in with generics, they didn't want to break that. So the Java developers decided against storing the types at runtime. This is called type erasure. So as far as the JVM is concerned, it's looking at the same information that it was looking at pre-generics. So essentially your generics that we're going to be using here are a compile time protection mechanism, okay? Now, there are some implications for that. But let's talk about arrays as well and contrast them. Because arrays have the same issues with polymorphic assignments. But the difference is how the compiler and the JVM behave. Due to type erasure with generics, the JVM does not know the types. Whereas with arrays, the JVM does know. So in the bytecode at runtime, the JVM knows with the array, but with generics, it does not know. So therefore, the JVM can generate an array store exception if you misbehave, shall we say. Okay, whereas in the generics, that's not the case. So let's have a look. First, let's look at arrays. I've got a dog array, two new dogs in it, and I call it an animal with that array. So add animal is overloaded up here, one taking in array, one taking in a list, which is generically typed for animal. Here's my animal array, animals in animal zero, I'm putting in a dog, but in animals one, I'm putting in a cat. But that will generate an array store exception because the JVM knows that it should be dogs that are in there. So if I run that, we'll see that. There, the array store exception. Okay, now, one thing to clarify as well is that polymorphism is okay for the base type. In other words, here's my list of cat looking at an array list of cat. So I'm talking about the list and the array list here for the base type, but it's not okay for the generic type. Inside the angle brackets, they have to match. So I can't have a list of animal referring to an new array list of cat. So I get a compiler error there. So you can get them to match, or you could use the type inference, which infers cat from the left-hand side. Now, as the JVM does not know the types, this again, stripped out during type erasure, the compiler has got to step in. So this is the overloaded call to my add animal here. And that's why I get a compiler error because the JVM does not know the types. Therefore, the compiler has to step in. So you get protection from the JVM for arrays, but the compiler has to do the same job, if you like, for generics. So that's why it's not allowed. That is not allowed there. Because at one time, the types just won't be there and you won't have an exception to protect you. Okay, let's now talk about polymorphic assignments with regard to extends. So extends gives you a little bit of flexibility and super gives you some more flexibility with regard to what you can put in here on the left-hand side. So extends is read-only and we'll see that in an example. Okay, 
So here I'm declaring a list of something that extends animal. And I can have it referring to an array list of animal, dog, terrier, cat, and manx. Basically, anything from animal downwards in the inheritance tree. So a dog is an animal, terrier is an animal, cat is an animal, and manx. They are all animals. So it's animal and below. That now doesn't just mean class either. That can be interface as well. So it's read only. If I try to add in anything, I've got an error. Okay, and I'll explain that when we're looking at the uh, extends method. And it's animal or below, so I can't have it referring to something above, like object. Let's look at the polymorphic assignments with regard to super. So I'm saying, okay, question mark, super dog. So it's dog or above. So it's dog, it's animal, or it's object. Can I go and refer to terrier? No, because that's below. Note that I can add to the list. So this is modifiable. So depending, you can use the acronym PECS for producer extends, consumer supers, or I like a nice and easy one, or read only, or E. Okay, so read only means the E for extends. R for read only and E for extends. That's how I remember. Okay, so this section is about declaring some references, uh, referring to some objects and adding them in for my extends and super examples. Okay, let's talk about extends first of all. So this is in fact the signature from the method down below, which is down here. A list of something that extends animal. I just copied it up here so I could talk about it more easily here. So what can I pass in? Well, I can pass in a list of something animal or below. So I can pass down animals because animal is animal. Cats is an animal. A cat is an animal. Manx cats is okay because Manx is an animal. Dogs is okay. You can see the dogs up here. Dog is an animal. And terriers because that's generically typed for terrier. Terrier is an animal. What I can't pass down is object because that is not an animal. Okay, so if I very quickly go back up to here, there is my animal. Dog is an animal. Terrier is a dog. Therefore, terrier is an animal. Cat is an animal. Manx is a cat. Therefore, Manx is an animal as well. So they're the method calls that I can make. But we need to bear in mind what we've passed down when we're inside the method. Now remember, it's read only. I'm going to explain that now. So here's my ext method, which is using the extends. The upper bound is animal. Okay, the upper bound is animal. That's what that means. That's the top level, the upper bound. So you can work down. So extends implies read only. What can I take in? I can take in a list of animal. Yes. And anything that extends then from animal. Cat, manx, dog, and terrier. They're the lists that I can take in. Now, if extends allowed us, which it doesn't, but if it did allow us to add to this list, then we could take in a list of cats and add a dog to it. And that's a problem. That's a problem. That's breaking your type safety. So we remember back up here, I'm adding in all these things, no problem. I can send them in animals, cats, manx cats, dogs, and terriers. Okay. I don't know which one I'm going to be getting in. I just know it's something that is extending from animal. So if I go along and try to add a cat or a dog or an animal, well, the compiler isn't going to let me do that because 
We just don't know what we're getting in here. All we know is that animal is the upper bound. And that is why when you're reading from it, all you know is that it's an animal. It could be passing in a dog, a list of dogs, a list of cats, whatever. So you can't go along and read it as a list of dogs either, because it could be a list of cats. There's no compiler errors reading it once we treat them as animals. Whether this method receives in a list of animal, cat, manx, dog, or terrier, they are all animal. So therefore I can treat them as such. Let's have a look at the super then. So there's the signature of the method. You can see it just down here. So it's a list of question mark or something supering from cat. Again, that could be an interface class in this example. This is a modifiable list, okay? Super lets you modify the list. So if it's something cat or above, well then I can pass in a list of cats, animals, or objects. Because animal is a super type of cat, object is a super type of cat. Note I use cat is cat here. Directly that just, I find that helps in my understanding to say that cat is cat. Because when we uncomment these guys, okay, I can't pass down dog. Dog is not cat or a super type of cat. Terriers, no, the type terrier is not cat or a super type of cat. And Manx cats, Manx is not cat or a super type of cat. Yes, I know Manx is a cat, but it's not the type cat or a super type of it. And this is saying, well, it'll take cat or above. So we're in here now. This is the lower bound because it's from there up. What can I take in? Well, I can take in cat, animal, or object. Lists of those. The only objects that can safely be added are any type of cat, including the subtypes, because the method could be getting in a list of animals or objects or cats. So I could be getting in a list of this one, this one, or this one, as you saw up here. Animals, objects, and cats. So again, I don't know which, when I'm in this method, I don't know what we're dealing with. So the only thing we can safely say is if I add in a cat, regardless of what I get in, it'll be okay because a cat is a cat, a cat is an animal, and a cat is an object. So if we pass in animals, a list of animals, then I can add in a cat because a cat is an animal. If I pass in a list of objects, then I can add in a cat because a cat is an object. Okay. Now I can add in a Manx as well because a Manx is a cat, a Manx is an animal, and a Manx is an object. So if you think of it like that, the Manx is a cat. Cat is a cat. It's not going to be a problem adding in any of those. But I can't go along and add in a dog, an animal, or an object. That's the lower bound. Okay, so passing in, we're going to be passing in something that's above that. What can I add in? It's something below that or that type itself. Cat and Manx cat. Animal doesn't qualify. Okay, animal is not cat. Yes, a cat is an animal. And object is not a cat. Cat is an object, if you look at it the other way. Now, what about reading it? Okay. Well, if I try to treat the list as a list of cats, I'm going to have a problem because I could be receiving in a list of animals. If I try to treat them as animals, well, it could be a list of objects. That's a problem. The only thing we can safely say is that it will be an object when I go and read an object from that list. The only thing we can safely say is that list coming in can be treated 
as objects is that that list can be treated as objects, which is the top, because cat is an object, animal is an object, and object is an object. So if I pass in a list of that one, or that one, or that one, then I can treat them all as an object. I can read them all as an object because they are all objects through inheritance. Okay, but so the only thing that's safe to add in is a cat or any subtype of a cat. Because a cat is a cat, a cat is an animal, a cat is an object. So a manx is a cat, a manx is an animal, and a manx is an object. That's how you read those 